subway that they are on a hard lockdown and uh, so I came here, I called my work, said I'm on my way to my daughter's school because apparently there's hard lockdown. But she didn't know anything what happened. She was just shoved into some random classroom with random kids and random teacher and that's where she ended up. Yeah, can you describe the text that you received from your daughter again for me? Oh, do you want me to read it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Perfect. sure. Oh, she actually wasn't feeling well, so she said, I'm, I'm, I was planning to go to nurse first period, but now we have a lockdown, and uh, it's a hard lockdown. Our teacher didn't come, so we are in a different room. I'm not feeling great. And then she was kind of upset, but she said everybody was pretty calm. There was no panic. She didn't hear anything happening. So they were just stuck in the classroom waiting to hear more. So you still yeah. haven't talked to your daughter? Since I haven't lockdown. spoken to her, no. She's she's in the building, but uh, we've been texting, but that's 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 all I know, so yeah. not very much. How do you feel about hearing that the school was in a lockdown? Well, of course, it's terrible, because we know, as we all know, the situation in this country is such that, you know, this has to be taken seriously. You know, it's not like, I, I, I'm not taking it lightly, thinking like, oh, it's just some random, you know, panic. You, you never know what's going to happen because shootings have happened in this country. School shootings way too, way too often. And how do you I, feel knowing that the person that they were looking for wasn't involved with the school or coming to the school? I didn't know anything. I, I haven't heard anything from any of the school officials. But uh, so I, I knew very little of what's going on. But as soon as I got here and saw the police where didn't seem to be alarmed in any way, I figured it wasn't serious, or I hoped it wasn't serious, even though seeing, a, you know, police units, <laughs> police units is not fun. Yeah. So um, hopefully they check the school and uh, everything is okay. Would you like to give your name? Would you like to give your name? Sure. My name is Clara. Cla Clara? Clara, yeah. Can you spell that please? K-L-A-R-A. -A. Last name. Do you need a last name too? That's up to you. Okay, it's Zikova, Z as in zebra, I-K-O-V-A, English. As an English language. Thank you very much. You are welcome. And your daughter is a. Uh, she's grade? a. She's in a junior. She's a junior at Art and Design High School. It's Art and Design. Yes. High School. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. Uh -huh. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Good luck. So just talk about the miscommunication, no communication, no information. Okay. So so far, I haven't heard anything from the school administration or Department of Education, and I would appreciate, with especially in this day and age when uh, they have all sorts of means of communication, emails, text messages, uh, we haven't received any information from the school administration or Department of Education. Any sort of, I understand if they don't want to people to panic but on the other hand all information I was getting was from my 17 year old daughter and I think there should be better communication with the parents and caregivers that is. Okay. All right.
Maybe we could get them, get them to follow up with it.